So Manchester United have been linked with midfielders like De Jong and Bellingham, but I think Florian Wirtz could be the ideal Ten Hag central midfielder, and when we come on to his FB ref report, you'll see exactly what I mean. I think ideally Wirtz would be the long-term successor to Bruno Fernandes, but obviously given that Fernandes is still only in his late 20s, and Ten Hag has other pressing issues to fix in the transfer window, many may see it as wise to pass on the Leverkusen midfielder. However, I think Wirtz is a generational talent, and so if United have the funds and the opportunity, they should look to bring him in because I see Real Madrid and Bayern Munich potentially making a move either this summer or at the very least in 2024. So Florian Wirtz has only played 883 minutes this season after being out for around 9 months of a cruciate ligament rupture which only saw him return in December but despite being a pretty serious injury he's been able to seamlessly pick up from where he left off and his FB ref report showcases this. If you watch my videos analysing Enzo Le Fay and the roaming playmaker which will both be linked in the description, you'll see that I spoke about the importance of a roaming playmaker in Ten Hag's midfield, having the ability to evade pressure in the build up phase and carry the ball through the centre of the pitch, and statistically Wirtz is sensational at doing this. His in game awareness and elegance in possession allows him to evade pressure fluidly. And we can see this as he ranks in the 99th percentile not just for the amount of successful take-ons he's completing, but also the percentage of those successful take-ons that he's completing, whilst also ranking in the 87th percentile for his overall carries, and the 85th percentile for his carries into the final third, showing just how valuable Wirtz can be as a ball progressor on his own. But Wirtz is a complete midfielder in possession, also excelling at progressing the ball via his passing as well, being a high volume short, medium and long passer, and ranking around the 90th percentile for his switch passes into the final third and passes into the penalty area was also ranking in the high 90s for his overall progressive passes and his through balls and it's this sort of creativity combined with his ball carrying ability that makes him one of the most unique midfielders in world football as not only is he capable of evading pressure with the drop of a shoulder and a burst of acceleration but he's also a fantastic short and quick passer in congested areas and has the vision and technique to switch play from deep positions but also has the killer instinct to not just create high quality goal scoring opportunities opportunities when in the final third, but also get into and score them himself. He ranks in the 72nd percentile for his XG assisted, the 81st for his expected assists, and the 97th for his key passes, whilst recording a decent non-penalty goals rate of 0.20 per 90. Now even though from the 883 minutes he's played this season, his non-penalty XG does look fairly low, I think this is more due to the lack of games he's played this season, as when we look at his FB ref report from last season in the Bundesliga, he ranks in the 66th percentile for his non-penalty XG with a rate of 0.26 per 90 which he also overperforms as well, and if so to me Wirtz is a complete midfielder in possession, capable of doing everything Ten Hag would want from a roaming playmaker, playing alongside Casemiro. Now I do think that if I was building a balanced midfield in order to get the best out of Wirtz, I would have him as the most offensive of a midfield three, which in United's side would feature a ball winner like Casemiro, and maybe a deeper line playmaker like Christian Eriksen, as this would give him a lot more freedom and take some of the defensive burden off of him, allowing him to then push further forward and be more of a creative force in the the final third. However, I also do think that Wirtz could play a deeper role in a midfield two alongside Casemiro as well, with Bruno Fernandes sitting in front, and developing into a similar sort of player as Frankie de Jong and fulfilling the role of a roaming playmaker, as whilst I don't think that Wirtz is anywhere near as good defensively as he is in possession, he isn't a liability in the same way as other creative midfielders like Paul Pogba or even Bruno Fernandes in a midfield two. And we can see this as whilst he hasn't yet developed his reading of the game from a defensive point of view, which is likely why why his interceptions are so low, he does rank between the 80th and 90th percentiles for the amount of dribblers he is tackling, as well as the percentage of dribblers he is tackling, whilst also recording a high volume of tackles in the defensive and middle thirds. Now despite ranking unusually low for some other defensive metrics, I think this is likely more down to him only playing around 900 minutes so far this season, and so we should see those rise as the season goes on. And so Florian Wirtz would definitely suit Ten Hag or any top side's aggressive pressing style, which combined with his press resistance distance ball carry and progressive passing and output in the final third makes him the ideal modern day playmaker and as I said in my analysis of why Manchester United should sign Evan Ferguson, which is a video that will be linked in the description, Florian Wirtz despite still being a teenager plays like he's a player in his mid-twenties with almost a decade of senior experience. 
And so if he's this good at 19, imagine how good he's going to be when he reaches the ages of 25, 26. He does still have a contract at Leverkusen until 2027, however, so he's definitely not going to be cheap, either this summer or next. And it's reported that Leverkusen will demand in excess of £80 million, which may mean that Wurz is out of United's budget this summer. However, Wurz to me is definitely a player who should be a long-term target for Ten Hag in United, particularly with the potential influx of transfer power with the rumoured Qatari take. Takeover. As I said in previous videos, I am now doing full video and channel reviews. So if you want me to give you any advice or feedback for a specific video or for your whole channel, you can send an email to atlantisfootball96 at gmail.com. But if you just enjoyed the video, you can check the description for more. You can subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you do get notified when the video comes out. And put your thoughts in the comment section below. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which will be in the description, for more content as well.